This MA has allowed me to carry on with my ongoing research, which I had started two years ago. This image sums up my thoughts, which at times I find it very hard to put into words. I attempt to comprehend how we hold on to personal memories by capturing them photographically. I wasn't very much interested in the photos I took. I was more interested in the conversations that came up as I was taking these photos. She was ill. She was a very short patient. A doctor from the world of Senna to, to Leicester, and she only lasts nearly a week. Thanks to these conversations with my grandfather, I learned a lot more about my granny, their relationship, and their stories. My granny passed away when I was 10, but I didn't really know much about her, as that's not something we speak about in the family. The idea of something being a taboo is something I always go back to in my work. When I was scrolling through Instagram, I came across these very powerful short poems which expressed a lot of emotion and pain by Rupi Ka. For me, poetry is like holding up a mirror and seeing myself and it gives words to these very complex emotions and these feelings that I had as a child. I found it very interesting how she was able to transfer all these complex thoughts and stories into a simple line drawing, but yet they're so powerful. What happens when you're so connected with other people through these things, you become so disconnected with yourself and we find it so difficult to just sit with ourselves and just be alone. This encouraged me to document my thoughts by just using a pen and a paper. When I was creating these doodles, I realized that I needed to be by myself to really truly understand what my thoughts were telling me. In this drawing, I try to emphasize the importance of understanding one another, no matter where we come from. The concept of being alone really led me back to my previous projects of my grandfather as now he had passed away. It made me think a lot about the solitude that my granny lives with now. A question I'm really struggling with now is how do I create art about something that isn't there anymore? It still is something that's very close to my heart and I don't think I'm ready to let that go yet. Emotions is something that is key within my work. When reading this book, it states that profound grief is something we'll experience only a few times in our lives. So it's nearly always disorientating, an emotion for which we get very little rehearsed of. It's not just where you disappear out of society. There's a whole set of recalibration of relationships between the dying person and their, their nearest and dearest and their carers. It's a really important part of our lives that we really should be giving attention to. This exhibition I went to see in Brighton was honestly one of the most touching exhibitions I had ever been to. It made me think of my topic in a very different way and it made me think about the intense relationships that we could create leading up to this important part of someone's life. Within my paintings, I try and express the most emotion I can. Jose Morello has passed away after a long illness. He was 86. He picked up the Queen's Police Medal and was made a member of the most excellent order of the British Empire. Many policemen who worked for my grandfather came to visit the family in the mortuary and they just shared stories about my grandfather that we had never heard of before. This obviously brought a lot of laughter and a lot of conversation and changed the mood tremendously. I've realised that I underestimated the power of conversation. Now looking back and seeing all the interviews I recorded with both my grandfathers who had passed away, it just makes me relive this moment. Both of my grandparents might not be here anymore, but their stories that they told are still alive. Oh, I met my wife before I joined the police. <laughs> that is uh, what I actually remember on the, that particular day. No? After collaborating with neuroscience Oxford students, we were able to find connections through our practices. Her research showed that people coming to the end of their lives who were having more conversations led a happier and healthier last couple of years. This photo of my granny was taken in the last minute of 2017, which was the year he passed away. My research is now leading into how important conversations are and how nowadays it's becoming even harder to physically meet up with people as we can now do it through our phones. I now want to produce new media art which connects loneliness to the absence of happiness while incorporating the need for human contact. I intend to return the audience's attention to the spaces that often define us with the most authenticity. Where do you think I can go next?